A very good morning. You're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Finasej and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We start in Mitiana district. Now Pope Francis has sent special apostolic blessings to the Reverend Father Joseph Selunjuji and commended him for his service to the Catholic Church. The Pope's message was delivered by the Bishop of Chianda Mitiana Diocese, the Right Reverend Dr. Joseph Anthony through Michael Bloom, the Papal Nuncio in Uganda. Father Salunjoji received the message during an event where he celebrated his Silver Jubilee in priesthood. The event, which was attended by several religious leaders, was held at Salunjoji's parents' home in Chianda near the Diocesan Cathedral. News coming in from Omori District. Now the long-awaited opening of the Cancer Institute in northern Uganda has materialized after Omori District local government offered four hectares of land to the government for the northern Uganda Cancer Institute. The facility, when completed, would offer services such as cancer screening, diagnosis and treatment, along with other services. Douglas Peter Okello, the Omori District local government chairperson, said the land was offered during the eighth full council meeting following a request from Guru Regional Far Hospital, Mulago Cancer Institute and the Ministry of Health. Moving on to Jinja District. Now, Uganda has sent a team of 106 security personnel to Sudan for training in peacekeeping. Drawn from the Uganda People's Defense Forces, the police and civilians, the team was deployed under the East African Standby Force. Major General Nakibus Lakala, the commandant of Uganda Rapid Deployment Capability Center, cautioned the officers against alcoholism as he flagged them off at Gaddafi Barracks in Ginger early this week, Lakala warned the team not to tarnish Uganda's good reputation in peacekeeping mission. Now news in Kalungu district, police is investigating the circumstances under which a prominent real estate and metal works dealer in Masaka district was killed. Isa Sechuanga, 40 years, a resident of Bunyonyo zone in Nyendo Senyange division, Masaka municipality, was kidnapped by unknown people as he returned home on Monday night and later murdered. His body was dumped on Villa Maria Road and was discovered the following day. Now we move on to Isinger District. Its residents and the neighboring districts have been advised to always go for diabetes screening and regular health checkups. The call was made by Dr. Anthony Muyingo, the diabetes specialist at Imbara Hospital and lecturers at Imbara University. He said diabetes have increased in the district contrary to the meal drives they had anticipated. Muyingo said the increased prevalence of diabetes was a result of poor diet and genetic factors. This has led to kidney failure, heart disease, blindness and infectious diseases such as tuberculosis. And finally, in Kumi District, now the leadership of South Division in Kumi Municipality has cautioned parents against handing over children to strangers in the name of non government organizations or NGOs. According to Robert Apedel Odea, the LC3 chairperson, some NGOs operate illegally and exploit the local communities. Odea now asks locals to report those two storm villages, registering especially orphans in the name of NGOs. Now, Vision Group is spearheading a campaign against HIV AIDS. New Vision TV is also highlighting stories on such. Now, if you're living with HIV, avoid activities that cut the skin, such as tattooing, to decrease your chances of getting other infections or passing on HIV to anyone else. We are winning the battle together. However, for more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruthie Nasege.